2019 is going to be a huge year for Star Wars, and since we are just about to enter it, I thought now would be a great time to look ahead and see all of the exciting new stories coming out that we know to look forward to in the coming year. Let's get the obvious one out of the way. Episode 9 will come out in just under 12 months on December 20th. It'll be the final installment of the sequel trilogy, and likely the final installment of the entire Skywalker saga. I mean, this is going to wrap up over 40 years of storytelling, and I guess what I'm most looking forward to is seeing how the Skywalker family is going to come out of all this. I mean, I guess I'm expecting that this is going to be the story of how this one family was born of the Force, kind of messed up the galaxy for over 60 years, and then hopefully, ultimately, left it better than they found it. Of course, I care about what's going to happen to Finn and Poe and Rey and Kylo, but at this point in time, I'm most intrigued by how Abrams plans to wrap up the saga as a whole. I have no idea what he's got in store, but I know I'm excited to see it. Moving on to television, it's a little harder to talk about because we don't know exactly what's going to come out in 2019 and what'll come out in the future. We know for sure that we'll get Star Wars Resistance, at least the second half of season one. I expect that the show will get renewed for a season two, and it's very possible that it could take us beyond The Last Jedi and provide us some hints towards what's going to happen in episode nine. I'm enjoying Resistance for what it is, but come on, let's be honest, I am far more excited for The Mandalorian. Disney Plus has been said to have a late 2019 release date, and I expect The Mandalorian will be a launch title for the platform to drive subscriptions. That's going to work on me because the description for this show sounds like it's right up my alley. It's going to be set in a time that's been largely unexplored in between Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens. It'll follow an unfamiliar character with a familiar heritage, and it sounds like it's going to be more about the criminal underworld rather than the Empire versus the Republic or the Rebellion or what have you. It just sounds new and different, and that's what I'm excited about. I mean, part of the reason that I am ready for the Skywalker saga to end is because I think it will be liberating for Star Wars. We'll be able to explore brand new stories without the emotional complications or expectations that come with characters that we have loved for so long, and I'm ready to see that new stuff. I say that, but now I'm about to talk about how excited I am to revisit The Clone Wars. Unfortunately, we don't have a release date for Season 7 yet, and I'm kinda thinking that it'll be later than 2019, probably like 2020 before we get to see it. I just don't know that Lucasfilm is going to overload the end of the year with probably Star Wars Resistance Season 2, The Mandalorian Season 1, Episode 9, a video game we're gonna talk about later, and The Clone Wars. That feels like a lot. But on the off chance that I'm wrong, and I would be thrilled if it came out in 2019, I did want to mention it because we do know it's coming. And I also think I should mention The Cassian Show. Diego Luna is working on Narcos right now, so I don't imagine the show will be able to film and release next year. But again, I wanted to mention it just in case. I do think that basing a show on Cassian is a great idea. We can continue exploring the more morally gray side of the Rebel Alliance, and I think he's a good focal point for that universe. We can see tons of stories that could involve other familiar characters, like Infa's Nest, or Saw Gerrera, Mon Mothma, Bail Organa, and of course, K2SO. Moving on to books, we've got a young reader release in the Flight of the Falcon series called Pirate's Price. This series has been fun and light, and that book will involve Hondo, which is a plus. That comes out soon on January 8th, but let's get into the novels, which I am much more interested in. Queen's Shadow is going to be a young adult book by E.K. Johnston that'll release on March 5th. It's going to follow Padme's transition from Queen into Senator, again in a largely unexplored era for the canon, in between episodes 1 and 2. And E.K. Johnston, I really liked her work on the young adult book Ahsoka, but I feel like the YA books sometimes have this negative stigma to them, and... I'll say that now I'm really looking forward to all the YA books. I used to think of, like, Twilight immediately when you hear the words young adult or YA or whatever. And I've been taught that young adult just means that the stories are about young adults, and that's it. It means nothing more. So if you have that kind of stigma against them, I would suggest picking up Lost Stars or Rebel Rising or Leia, Princess of Alderaan, because they've all been really enjoyable, and I would hate for someone to just be missing out on great stories because they have this misconception of what young adult means like I used to. 
But moving on, Master and Apprentice by Claudia Gray is probably my most anticipated book of the year. Gray has yet to release a subpar Star Wars book, and this one's going to follow Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi as Master and Apprentice set before The Phantom Menace. And that's all I need to know. Uh, but if you want a little more, you can get kind of a preview by reading Claudia Gray's short story that was in the book from a certain point of view. Again, about Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon, but this time set during A New Hope. And you get to see a lot of stuff about the Force, especially how Qui-Gon relates to it now that he is one with the Force. And it's really great. So I'm very excited to see what Claudia has in store for us. And that book is going to come out on April 16th. The final known book for 2019 is the one with a silly title but a great premise, Alphabet Squadron by Alexander Freed. Set after Return of the Jedi, we'll follow a very unique fighter squadron, each pilot having a different class of starfighter as they hunt down the final remnants of the Empire. I am a huge fan of the Legends X-Wing books. I love pilots, I love hunting down Imperials, and Alphabet Squadron sounds like it's going to follow that very closely, which is what the old Legends books were about. So I'm really excited to kind of get into that type of story. I will say that Alexander Freed has been hit or miss for me. He's written two Star Wars books so far. The first was Battlefront Twilight Company, and I wasn't crazy about that one. I just didn't connect with any of the characters. The second one was the Rogue One novelization, and I actually like that one quite a bit, so I'm hoping that we're seeing Freed kind of come into his own as an author, and I hope that that trend keeps going up where this book I really like. I hope it's more on the Rogue One side than the Battlefront Twilight Company side, but regardless, the premise sounds good, I'm excited to read it, and it comes out on June 6th. Just kidding about Alphabet Squadron being the final known book, because after I originally finished this video, they announced Thrawn Treason, which at least for now is slated to come out on July 23rd. I loved the first Thrawn book and thought Thrawn Alliances was pretty good. Treason sounds like it'll deal with the unknown regions a bit, and whenever we get to learn about that area of space, I am instantly intrigued. I'll always have a soft spot for Thrawn, so I'm very excited to see what the next book in this story is all about. Moving on to comics, we don't have a ton to talk about. The Star Wars and Dr. Aphra series will continue, we know that. We also have the Age of Republic, Age of Rebellion, and Age of Resistance comics to continue looking forward to, but what I'm most intrigued about right now is something that I assume or hope is going to happen in 2019, but that's whatever Charles Soule works on next. His past comics have all been wonderful, especially the Darth Vader series, which just wrapped up and he has promised that he is not done with Star Wars. I'm hopeful that we'll see whatever he's got in store in the coming year. Oh, and hey, here's another thing they announced after my first stab at making this video. A comic series called Vader Dark Visions will explore a side of Vader that neither fans nor the galaxy have ever seen before. It'll debut in March, and that's pretty much all we currently know about it. Now, there are almost certainly going to be more books and more comics announced as the year goes on. I mean, they had a Journey to the Force Awakens line and a Journey to the Last Jedi line, so I would be shocked if we didn't do something similar for Episode Nine. But those are all of the book and comic stories that we know of right now. So now let's get into video games. Star Wars Battlefront 2 will continue receiving support throughout 2019, with Count Dooku and Anakin Skywalker coming as heroes in January and February respectively, and February will also see the addition of a new, as of yet unknown, large-scale game mode. That all sounds fun, but I am much more interested in Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. We don't have a firm release date on that yet, but last we heard, it would be holiday season 2019. And the premise for this sounds like it has a lot of potential. We'll play as a surviving Padawan in the days after Order 66, and I'm hopeful for, like, a Last of Us kind of vibe where every enemy encounter feels like a desperate struggle for survival. I'm hoping that as Padawans, we won't be too overpowered with the Force, and that kind of using the Force defensively is almost the better move than aggressively, and that taking out your lightsaber, it's a good weapon, but it would also give you away. I just have these visions of trying to hide in the shadows from clone troopers, or death troopers, stormtroopers, inquisitor troopers, inquisitors themselves, like... I don't know, there's just a lot of potential here, but mostly I'm just excited to play and live out a Star Wars story myself, because I feel like we haven't gotten to do that since the new canon reboot and EA took over Star Wars. We just haven't had a lot of storytelling outside of the Battlefront 2 campaign, and that was rather short. So I'm hoping for a nice, long, and kind of desperate story about uh, a Jedi 
trying to survive in the time of a fallen order. We're nearing the end of our list now as we talk about the theme park, Galaxy's Edge. It'll open up in summer 2019 at Disneyland and then fall 2019 at Disney World. The story of the park is set to take place after The Last Jedi, which is interesting that we get to kind of personally experience that before seeing Episode 9. And we also know that Disney World is going to have a hotel that kind of enhances the experience where all the staff are in character and you have to take a shuttle to and from the park. It all sounds very immersive. We know about two of the rides so far. The first is Smuggler's Run, and that one places visitors in the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon. And the other is Rise of the Resistance, and that one somehow puts us in the middle of a battle between the First Order and the Resistance. Again, this is all built around immersion, and it sounds like the things that you do on those rides or in the park will affect your experience, like you can accrue credits to spend at a cantina, or you could do something that puts a bounty on your head that will have bounty hunters or stormtroopers come after you. I'm not a huge theme park guy, but I am very excited for that kind of immersion, and I can't wait to walk around Batuu, board the Falcon, visit a cantina, and hopefully avoid bounty hunters. And last, but definitely not least, is Star Wars Celebration Chicago. It's going to run from April 11th to April 15th. I'm really hopeful that we get trailers for Episode 9 and The Mandalorian, and hopefully more. But what I'd really love to see is, like, a timeline on the future of Star Wars. I am starting to feel antsy that we don't know what's going to happen in 2020, really. We don't know what movies are coming down the pipeline. And I would love to get some details on the Benioff Weiss series and on the Ryan Johnson trilogy. If not plot or story details, m like, just give us, like, a timeline of when they're going to come out. I just feel like we're out of the loop right now. And I think a lot of the uneasiness could be fixed by just telling us what to look forward to and when. But mostly, I'm just really excited to be surrounded by Star Wars fans. 2017 was our first celebration, and it was incredible. I met so many people, and just that energy and that level of in-person enthusiasm is infectious. I really think 2018 could have used a celebration, and I missed it dearly. I can't wait to see some of you in Chicago this April. But that's it. That is everything that we know is coming for Star Wars in the year 2019, and it is a lot. There is so much to look forward to, so much to be excited about. Uh, those are my thoughts on everything, so now I want to hear from you guys. What stories are you most interested in experiencing for the first time? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon. As always, thanks for watching, may the Force be with you, and have a very happy and safe New Year.